Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. Today I'll be walking you through how I like to take flash photography of my cakes when I know sunlight is not going to be available. All the tools that I've used here today I will have linked in the description box below for you guys. Now you can take a photo of a cake as is without the flash, but I'm going to show you the benefits of doing it with an off-camera flash if you can. You could also buy the flashes that come onto your camera, but it doesn't give you as much creative freedom as it does when you move it around your cake. I'll start off with an example without a flash, and this is what it looks like. A little bit dark, I could have popped my ISO up a little bit more to get a bit more light coming through, but again, it's just an example of before and after with a flash. Here you can see the light is really painting that cake from the front. It's a little bit harsh, so I'm going to bring it out to the side instead of having it right at the front. You can see here that I am going to raise it a bit. I'm going to angle that softbox about 45 degrees down. And that is usually the most complementing angle for cakes or food. Granted, I do have it pretty far away and I could have had it 45 degrees angled in front of the cake um, rather than having it all the way to the side. This will give you a bit more of a dramatic look. So it's still pretty artistic depending on what it is you're going for here. Along with it being directly on the side of the cake, it's also very far from the cake. And that's going to give you a lot more contrast. You'll have a light side on the left and then much darker shadows um, or deeper shadows to the right of the cake. For that even lighting, what I recommend doing is grabbing your cake and bringing it, sorry, grabbing your light and bringing it closer to the cake. So you can see here it's a 45 degree angle to the cake. The softbox is angled down 45 degrees as well. And I'll be standing directly in front. Basically, this is a kind of triangle situation that I try to go for and it wraps around the cake beautifully. It's nicely exposed, I think, and gives for the best results. Be sure to get nice and close to your cake, get further away, change from landscape to portrait, give yourself as much variety as you can, and also get in close for those detail shots. If you made the flowers by hand or you did something really well, jump in there and get those macro shots or super close up shots of that too. And that's it. Here are those examples one more time without the flash and edited with Lightroom. With the flash and edited with Lightroom. And you can see here just how nicely that cake pops off the background rather than it being 2D like. Again, you don't really need a flash, by the way. If you have natural light or a nice window, pop your cake next to that and take a photo of it that way. And play around with where you position it next to the window. Usually when the light is coming from the side of the cake, it's really complimenting. Or if you're working with cookies or really short desserts, backlighting looks really wicked as well. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope this was a useful tutorial for you with uh, off-camera flash and cakes. Feel free to subscribe for more and I'll have a tutorial on how I edited those photos coming to you guys soon. It'll be linked in the eye icon up top for you guys. Ciao for now.